Hello there, whoever you might be watching this video. So, I just bought this companion fifth wheel hitch, and it is made for the turnover ball uh, gooseneck hitch on a for your truck. This thing actually scoots, you just take the ball out and scoot it. This here's the actual hitch part, scoots into the receiver. And of course everything is disassembled and that's what I'm about to make a video here. I am myself I'm not sure how this thing goes together completely. Most of the parts look fairly simple, but uh yeah, just come with me as I do this and if this video ends up on YouTube, then apparently I was able to get it all figured out. I know for a fact that these are the rails that there's two of these. Uh actually I have one on here. These are the rails that go in here, and uh, they're like the, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, composite kind of thing. Um, and they, there's this groove here so you can scoot it to fit the ribs in your bed of the truck, one for each side. And uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to get started with maybe... Just kind of putting those in. I won't tighten the bolts because I still need to figure out where they need to be in the truck. Where they, which way I need to scoot them to fit them in the rib before bolting them down. I'm going to put those two pieces in. And of course here in the center is where your uh, main mounting thing goes. And I'll talk all about that later. I was reading instructions a little and there's a bolt that goes into the top of it to tighten it real nice and tight down against your bit and then here's your rails they got a marked a and b but uh let me get this thing in the stand so it's easier to see all right so if you can see there's like a straight end and then this is the angle end and they come in here one on each side and you got a whole bunch of bolt or different holes to uh, adjust or to set it at. There's all these holes so you can raise it up or down a bit or forward or backwards whichever you want. I have no clue where it's going to need to be in my truck so I think I'm going to probably raise it to the upper holes and move it uh, probably forward. I'm probably going to keep it all the way forward that way farther, farther forward I keep it the better it's centered over my axle i'm guessing i'd rather have it just slightly in front of the axle and in the back so i'll keep it all the way forward and as far up as it goes i know my truck sits a slight bit taller um i can always let it back down or move it to wherever i need it so yeah for now i'm gonna bolt these things and if i move it forward these holes will be here and these will be here and then this far up but anyway so this angle side goes towards the rear come to think of it where's the front and where's the rear it don't look like there's a difference i need to check on that all right so i kind of stored up my hardware we've got the shorter bolts they're the same thick as these longer, but they're just a bit shorter. And then there's all our lock nuts for washers for them. Uh, I'm assuming this is where, let's see, two, four, two, four. There's four of these. I really have to figure out, and then we got one longer bolt. I'm really going to have to figure out where do y'all go. This one might be for the center here, possibly, since it's just a, a, its own one. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if those bolts might be both for the... Well, let's see, we got... I'll just have to check it out. One or the other is for the arms. So we got eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six. We got eight of each. So, and we need 
feet eight to mount this arms to the side rail trying to see here we got our hitch for okay we need eight to mount the hitch to this part let's say the longer ones might be for that oh yeah this one's already got its own threaded pieces on the side there's your threaded holes so yeah these blocks are for the arms apparently you hold them on the opposite side of those holes maybe come in through here and hold them to wherever your bolt needs to be that way or maybe they go on this side actually so yeah um and here's our hardware there's these things and then there's the washers and the nuts and the lock nut or lock washers so i'm gonna go ahead and mount these um, I was looking in, um, where's this paper? Right here. It's showing you how, with the white rib in their bit, how you do that, or with, how well, that one's in, Craig, which you can see in the picture that that one's not sitting right. If it's a narrow rib, you do it that way, which I looked, and my truck bit has the wider rib, so I'll be putting it on like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these two parts mounted. And then we'll continue from there. Alright, so here's my rail. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the wider side down. And it's got little... It's made, it's shaped to fit the head of this bolt so it's not scratching into your bed. So just stick that in. Stick it through here. And, and then, of course, the regular washer. And then the little lock washer followed by the nut. And again, I'm not tightening them up because I need to get this part into the bit first once I get the receiver part on. And then slide these left or right to wherever they need to be to be in a groove. And this side, just do the same thing. All right, so I was looking, and as you can see, here's the four bolts that this receiver goes to, and you can actually uh, switch it. You can turn it and put it in like like this to where it'll be centered on your hitch, or if you're depending on your trailer tongue, I reckon. You can turn it like that, and that moves the receiver way up there, which move would move this whole thing farther towards the back of your truck. Uh, not quite sure which way I want to put it in. I have a long bit, and I'm not. That might make a difference. I know with a gooseneck, the way it was with my hitch, it's a little tight, but it's still on head. You get a little bit of space back there, but I might just put this thing in the center. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to unbolt it and uh, move it when I go to hook to the RV. Um, so I'm going to center it for now, which will keep the whole thing a little bit farther forward. And uh, if I can get away with that, I'd rather have that. So I'm going to bolt this thing in. I'll turn around like this, and well, you'll see. All right, I'm going to bring this thing up. I'm going to just set it. I want to scratch my side by side up. Okay. Now, and this piece right in here that slides up or down, and that's actually, it's got the hole in there, and that's where I think this big bolt goes in from the top of there. Once you set the whole thing into the bit, this bolt is supposed to go in, and I'll show you that then. And But I'm just showing that this is the piece where it tightens to. And it actually, when you slide in your receiver, 
uh, the pin goes through here and when you put this bolt in at the top and you tighten it it pulls this part real tight up against the pin and pulls the, the hitch real tightly down against the bit and the receiver part so that it can't so you don't have loose sloppiness um, but for now I just looked and it's the short bolts inch and a half ones like I was saying there's eight if the longer ones need a short one we need the shorter ones or same thickness to shorter those we'll put a lock nut over um, the receiver like I said I'm going to turn it this way so the receiver part is right in the middle of my thing put the lock nut on the bolt and just pull all four of them down and get it lined up Ratchet, it's like a threading is slightly stiff right there, not quite perfect in that one. So, yeah, I mean, there's four. Let me see here. Excuse the crazy movement. There's four bolts in there, like. That one goes in there, and then there's one more from this hole, and then of course on the opposite side there's the same way. And back up here, as you can see, that hitch is in the center of the fifth wheel hitch thing. Um, and as you can see, if you were to turn this part around, it will move the hitch towards the front. This side is the front. The bolts are toward the front, toward the cap of your truck tape when it's installed. So if this thing was, if you need to, you flip this thing around, which will move the whole other the whole uh, fifth wheel thing farther back um if you need it the clearance between your truck and the fifth wheel to be able to turn so yeah i'm going to get those four bolts in and then we're going to switch to the side rails there and get those done all right i got my digital um oh torque wrench and I'm going to torque these down to 60 foot pounds for now and oops going the wrong way there I reckon I guess I already have most of them there. I don't know how piggy these are. I didn't really say. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that for at this moment. I'm usually just hand tighten them down as, um, and go with my gut. But with pulling the fifth wheel, I want to make sure this thing don't come apart. It's the last thing you need. So, all right. Got those all tightened down. So here the bolt that I was telling you about that is in the center uh, that piece of metal that's in the center of the hitch that comes up and down let's see uh, one of these had sort of a picture of it of course I don't see it now so there's here's the main hitch part Oops. And there's a piece on the inside of there. It's like a three quarters or an inch thick. And see here you can see the slots in them. So it can move up and down. And there's, well right here you can see the three inch bolt. Here it's showing where it goes in. This bolt goes down you need to line up that piece. And another thing, if you do, like mine I have to hitch center in the center. 
you do turn this around so the hitch is over here, then you need to take this thing and spring loader and just pry it up and flip it around and this little thing will snap into the other hole. Now we're lined up over here to put your bolt in over here, but with it in the center, I need it here. And this is the the lock. It'll actually lock this bullet bolt in place once you tighten it. You just flip this over there and tighten this down a little bit. Um, so yeah. So I need to line this up with the hole in that piece of metal and just sort of slightly uh, start it. Ooh, I think I got it. I sure did. So I'm just going to kind of put the bolt down uh, and make sure I don't pick it up past the slot. Let's see. Actually, I might need to let it slightly loose. Leave it a little bit loose so it can, that way my pin can fit through once I put it in a truck. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. And then this thing, yeah, it's supposed to go over there once it's tight and lock it so the bolt cannot unturn or unscrew. Okay, so now I'm going to take my sight rails and put them in here. And, of course, the one over here. And, like I said, this is facing the, that sight's facing the cap. So, all right, and we grab four bolts. These are the longer bolts now, and I'll need two of these. Uh, yeah. So this is the front of it. You want the straight end towards the front, the angle end towards the rear of the truck. And these little things, you're gonna to have to stick them in through here. They're gonna be kind of fun there. Stick a bowl in here. And these things are gonna go in here and be like that, one on each side. The bolts will screw into these to hold the sight rails on. And like I said, I'm gonna keep mine. I don't know. Let's see here. I think I'm going to keep it for work for now. You could actually trust this quite a bit if your truck, if you needed to. If you turn this around, it will bring this back several inches. Four or five inches, six, I'm not sure. And then this would give it, move this all the way back, you could still move. But like I said, I'm going to try to kind of center it for now, and I can always adjust it if I need to. And let's see, I'm going to stick a few. Uh, I just hit one of here. It is. I'm going to put this in here and get it started on there. Ooh, I actually got it. It's not a problem. All right, I'm going to get the next bolt started and then I can put it. Sort of take slightly weight off of it and turn them in easier. And I think I got that one started. Yep. Got my battery impact belt. I thought I could use it, but so far the bolts are all down in where you can't get to it with an impact. Anyway, I'm going to do the other two the same way and then we'll tighten this rail up. And, and then this next rail is going to be the exact same thing. So. I'm going to get that done for now, and then we'll continue from there. All right, I got my arms fastened down. Let me back up here. There's the main setup so far. Arms are bolted down, tightened down. And then here's this little piece that was in a separate pack with those bolts. I haven't figured out for sure what those are for yet. I'm thinking they're something to do with the fizzle wheel in that box. Um, so here's the little spring thing. You have to put it together. There's a bracket that, oops, that clamps. It's got this little claws on it, and it clamps over there. And I took a hammer and whacked it on, and there's this little bolt with a lock nut, and you just tighten it. I believe it's just loose enough to hold that thing. It's got something to do with with keeping the fifth wheel tilted with tilting it back. Oh, uh, let's see. There's the arm. 
driver's side pivot arm. Okay, yeah, and it's on the driver's side pivot arm. So, I mean, if we're facing it, the cap would be right up front. So that's toward the cap side, which would tilt the uh, fifth wheel part back. Like, and here you can see the spring on the diagram. Um, or there. It's saying keep it a half inch down from this rubber thing. So, and I got it pretty much that. So now, I'm going to try to set that fifth wheel on here. I think the rest of it's pretty simple. I still need to bolt. Actually, you know what? Those bolts are for the arm. That's what those are for. Uh, for the armed on the side to open and close the chaws of that fifth wheel there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to set the fifth wheel on here. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just got pins that go in here. So I'll set this thing up and we'll set it all in there and see what we can come up with. Oh, and then get the arm on as well. Too. I'm starting to realize why they make them in two pieces so you can get one piece at a time. Okay. I'm believing I need to pull those pins out first, I think. Or actually, I know I do. And this little pin actually holds this handle up and locks in. There's one on each side. There we go. Look, and then the handles snap down, and the handles lock on the inside up under the bushing. And then you put this pin in, and it locks the outside of the bushing. Plus, it locks the handle so it can't come up and unlock and then let it unhook on you. So, and there she is. Somehow, I was thinking it had something somewhere where it's supposed to tilt. So, oh, yeah, it's got little cylinders. So it can actually tilt a little bit left and right, too, or sideways. Okay, now there's a little lock pin on this side. So looking at the fifth wheel from the top, we've got this little pin here that locks this handle in. And let's see. I've got my handle right here and it's lock with safety pin. Do not tow before it hits, just lock with safety pin. Yeah. So this is, uh, fits in here. And we put the bolt in the back two holes, put bolts in those two, and in the front holes where the safety pin goes. I'm gonna bolt that on real quick. All right, guys, she's all put together, complete. Now all I need to do is uh, empty my trunk bit out and stick it in there to see how it fits. Oh, and to get these pieces here to where they belong and bolt them tight so they stay. So yeah. Um, and all you need to do is, oh, and I got the handle on, I haven't put the pin in, so yeah, it opens and closes the, the jaw, and where'd that pin go? Oh, here it is. Here's a little lock pin when it's closed, you stick it in there so you can't open while you're going down the road. Let's see what does that say? I don't know. Anyway, and then if you're ready to take it out of your truck, all you have to do is pull the pins on each this pin and then one on the other side, and then just lift up on these levers, both of them, and this top part lifts out. And then, like I said, there's this bolt right here. Oops right here that you need to uh, set this thing i'm going to tighten this bolt just a little tighter i don't think it would jump off of there but it could i mean it's it probably wouldn't that's nah, probably fine 
it's got a spring underneath it's spring loaded to pull this down and it goes over top of this bolt so it can uh, unscrew itself so you just push that to the side loosen this bolt and just a little bit enough just enough to let it loose to make it let loose of the pin that's on your uh, gooseneck attachment where this slides into your bit and I'll show you what that attachment looks like tomorrow or yeah and, uh, and then you just pull that pin and then pull this bo <coughs> bottom section off. I mean, you got a handle on each side. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you once I get the thing put in the truck <coughs> tomorrow. And I'll show you what my um, turnover ball hitch looks like. It, it's all, it mounts underneath the bed on the frame. And I really like it because it, um, it, uh, not, you just turn that ball over. <coughs> When you're not using it and you've got your nice bed, you're not pushing sh stuff in and hitting a ball or having it in the bed to trip over. So, anyway, that'll be it for now. I hope this um, was helpful. And, uh, yeah, I've got some exciting things happening after I get this thing. Um, and I will be making videos of that later on. I'm going to keep it a secret for now, though. That's the whole reason I bought this thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end this here, and then tomorrow, since it's dark already, yeah, it's December, Christmas time. So, yeah, it's dark outside, and I'm ready to quit, and I got my bed loaded down with tools, so tomorrow I will be cleaning that mess out, and... Mounting this thing in there getting everything the way it belongs and we'll go from there Hey YouTube, so I'm back. Here's the bottom part. I'm about to install And here's what I was showing you That's what the turnover bowl looks like from in the bed. I mean if you if You notice it's pretty well flush with the bed And Here's the underneath part just bolts right to the frame. These two brackets bolt it on, one on this side, one on the other, and then there's a part that scoot it in. Um, I believe I scooted that into the bit first. And here's actually the release handle. This really goes over to the hitch in the center. Just pull it out and see, twist it like that and it stays out. You have to cut this little notch in for it. Um, so yeah, now the pin's locked in, pull out, all the way, and twist it slightly, and then it stays open, so you want to make sure you don't forget to release that and let it close in, or otherwise your trailer could jump off with the hitch. So yeah, that's unlocked, now I can go into bed, yeah. and just pull the hitch out and you can flip it over if you need it. It's full of dirt. And then you have your gooseneck. In my case I'm taking it out to put the fifth wheel in there. Now that that thing is set into the receiver, we need to come over here and release this pin.
just twist it a little and let it snap in there now my fifth wheel should be locked in where it can't come out now you still gotta tighten the bolt in so get a pin to what not we need here for a bolt Now this is the bolt that that center plate that's inside the receiver or the hitch part it pulls up on that and pulls this main hitch tight down against the truck and receiver and then of course I'm needing to tighten that down to it's upside down but 60 foot pounds and I'm gonna be picky and actually use the torque wrench and put them to exactly that Two, forty-six. There we go. And now we'll just stick this little locker over there. So you can see it's got this little groove and it snaps over that head. Lock in place so it can uh, turn off or unscrew. And there she is. Nice and solid. All right, so now that we got the piece in the bit, I just need to take this and snap it on and get my safety pins and all in, and we'll be ready to go hook up and bring my other toy home, the one that's still secret. So. Alright, so I got the top part put down, like I said it just snaps in, and then these pins go in, and of course these little pins to hold those pins in, and keep these levers from coming up, and the pin locks the outside edge underneath the main swivel parts that can't come up. So everything is tightened down and we should be good to go. Like I was saying, I have the receiver on that thing centered on it, like in the center of this thing. Hopefully I don't have to take all those bolts loose and move the receiver forward so this thing goes back. Hopefully the RV misses the way it is. And I adjusted it up as far as it goes, so we should be good there. 
if anything worse comes to worse event, I'll need to adjust it back down then, so. Well, anyway, there it is, the new BMW fifth wheel hitch. Now, to put it to the test and actually try it out and see what we think of it.